Uh, yes, so I'm very pleased to, to be here and to uh, like to thank all organizers of this hackathon. My talk is about what is the missing piece of the of, of the R and D operational medicine. Now, how can we tackle the problem? Yes, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, and the uh, the first point is the data sharing. The most important resource has been the uh, biological biospecimen in medical research and development. In hospital, a patient provides his or her biological specimen uh, to a physician. A material is a, a transferred from a patient to a physician with uh, informed consent. And the uh, in the research community, physician transferred their biological biospecimen each other, or uh, biospecimen are transferred from biobank to the uh, researchers with a uh, material transfer agreement. So a material transfer agreement, MTA, is a contract, so that governs the transfer of the tangible research materials between two organizations. So now we are in the big data era, that there exists a clear difference uh, between the materials and data. Materials, tangible objects, are owned, while the data, intangible objects, are used and shared. And the uh, material transfer should be controlled with um, MTA, uh, whereas the data used and the sharing should be controlled by, not controlled by MTA, but controlled by the research identification, we think. So, data is getting bigger and bigger. So, and the, uh, now the data is too big to transfer each other, as you know. So, we should not bring the data to researchers, but we should bring the algorithm to the data. A researcher sends a workflow to a data repository, and the data repository grabs the runs of its workflow and returns the result to the researchers. We can uh, protect the privacy of the donor and we can keep ownership. It is a very essential point to be considered because the data is owned by the uh, donors. So I think that the GDPR is a, such a kind of essential uh, point, uh, claims as an essential point, I think. So first we need a research identification to control the uh, data uh, use. And the, uh, the second point is a data sharing and computation scheme to bring the algorithm to the data. The second point is uh, data to knowledge. The, uh, the, the, this is a Greenberg website, and which is a part of the pathogenic variants and the causing diseases. It is very important resources. And the, but uh, sometimes Fisher can would like to know that the background of the uh, this uh, knowledge. So they would like to know that the background of the patient. So uh, the patient of Patients. So the, how can we make a link between the course cases and the knowledges and the data and the knowledges? So we we need a novel knowledge base having links to uh, to the evidences and supporting cases with keeping privacy. It is very difficult point, I think. In the near future, as, as you know, that the AI will uh, make a uh, knowledge uh, and the dynamically gen generates a novel knowledge from the data. I think so. That the, the database as knowledge should be linked to each other. And the third point is a clinical and penetrative data capture. As Orion pointed out, so that the clinical penetrative data is mostly unstructured. So in Japan this year, Japan Association for Medical Informatics has started the development of the new EHL system for utilizing of the clinical data for researchers. However, it will take a time to we to get obtain a new EHR system. So at this moment, at this time, I'm mapping to ICD-11 and the human phenotype ontology uh, by uh, using the phenotypic, uh, phenotypic algorithm is a realistic approach. And we need, of course, that phenotype, we need, of course, a, a control vocabulary like the phenotype, human phenotype ontology. So to tackle this problem, we can learn from this proceedings project Especially GA for GH Global Alliance for Genomics Health has been worked on the data showing for the benefit of the human health. So GA for GH has a driver project which a real world uh, genomic data initiative that helped our uh, development efforts and uh, pilot 
uh, pilot uh, one tools. And GFOG has also have a technical work stream develop the standards and tools uh, designed to uh, overcome the technical and regulatory uh, hurdles to for the data sharing. So these are the, the G GFOG driver projects. And I think all many of them, uh, you know the GFOG is what the cloud work stream is a kind of uh, work stream for the uh, for developing the novel uh, data sharing and computation scheme to bring the album to the data. And she, of course, uh, she will provide the actual implementation for the work for execution. It's very important implementation, I think. And this is a scheme discussed in GFOGS for a work stream. And data use and research identity work stream also is uh, related to the novel data sharing computation environment so for research research identification to control the data use so they already implemented the science id so and the clinical and the phenotypic data capture work stream is also important for the data capturing as the uh, Orion and the so many colleagues are uh, introduced so this uh, of course the hpo development and so its translation in japanese is very important uh, scope for us so to fill in the missing piece, I would like, I'm very pleased to announce that uh, AML, uh, it's very long name, so AML is a program for blah, 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 blah. Uh, GFOG workshop to be held uh, from March 18th to 21st, uh, 2019, so just three months later from this hackathon, so in Sendai funded by AML. So main topics of this meeting is the, uh, just I pointed out these uh, topics. So now we are here in Matsue, and the Sendai is a northern part of the Japan, just a one, half, one and a half hour from Tokyo by Shinkansen. The venue of workshop in Sendai is Akio Onsen, famously known as uh, one of the three great hot springs of Japan. So it's very, since it, its origin uh, is 1,500 1, years ago. So if you are, uh, so, sorry. So if you are the participant to Biohackers 2014, so you have already visited Sendai, but it was Matsushima located in Seaside. So this time Aki is totally different location, which is uh, in mountain side. So uh, this hotel Sakai is a very prestigious hotel in Sendai and uh, was chosen to host the G7 meeting, so the finance ministers and uh, bank governors meeting in in and the uh, Katayama-san, uh, Kamada-san, Kawashima-san, and I were organizers and are uh, very happy to invite you to this workshop to fill in the, this uh, main topic. So if you like to, uh, how to say, join our meeting, it's, uh, it's our pleasure, pleasure. And please save the date, and thank you very much. Yes.